what is good everyone nothing to glacier part two this has been one month in the making and let me just start off by saying there's bad news but good news and the good news definitely outweighs the bad news the account which i started the series on i can't get into the marketplace on it without sending someone else a code so i've now got 2000 670 credits on a fresh account and some of you might say keenan that is cheating and technically that would be cheating if i couldn't require that amount of credits on the original account i started with i can log into the account on my phone but that amount of credits was 100 percent requirable I, I managed to get the exact same number of the amount of credits that i bought um just to show you that it is the account i'll show you the uh purchase orders so i ended up selling the blue nebula which we bought uh, for 900 credits i lost out on that uh, i sold the bandit six major for 360 credits which i i did actually make profit on and the other ones didn't buy so basically we're starting on a fresh all that's the bad news out of the way now here's the good news because this is a fresh account as soon as i get glacier on the account i'm going to be giving this account away so if you want the copper to glacier account make sure to go follow me on twitter i'm going to be announcing the winners on there but i'll Obviously, I've still got a long way to go uh, when it comes to getting Glacier. Make sure you go follow my Twitter because that's where I'll be doing the giveaway. With all that being said, let's get into episode two of Nothing to Glacier. Because this is a fresh account, there is literally nothing to sell. There's like five items on it. Um, so I'm sorry if this episode is a little bit short. Okay, we got Plasma Pink going from 1,000 to 1,300. I did see this sell for 1,000 earlier, so I'm going to put 1,000. By the way, I do, I do realize that on the first episode, my profit margin was way too ambitious there was no way i was sniping half of the cameras i put uh credits on right I, for now i've just removed my uh I, I was about to buy plasma pink but i've just removed my bid off it just because for now i want to try and make some little amounts of profit before i end up going too big i don't want to waste a thousand of my credits already and then have nothing left to work with so i'm just going to try and get some small snipes first also if you do want to see me snipe a lot more expensive items because obviously we're in the early stages of nothing to glacier i ain't really i ain't really um getting anything too crazy but if you want to see me like go for the bigger um items and stuff like that like buying selling bigger items please go make sure to check out my trading up to the most expensive item on the r6 marketplace i do that series on my main account and i do if you enjoyed this series i think you'll enjoy that one oh so this one looks like a pretty good one to to buy and sell this santos 13 sale orders purchase orders 28 so it's higher in demand than there is uh sellers so there is a chance it could go up and it, it last sold at 600 and there is a chance i could maybe get it for 500 if i just left my order on it but um I'm going to go for like 550, maybe like 100, 150 profit with the 10% fee. Oh my, yo, this guy, <laughs> this guy is either, either just gave this away or he's had the worst typo of his life. Imagine being that guy who typed in 700 on a 7k skin. I'd actually be balling it out in a corner. And the marketplace takes away 10% of his sale. So he has just been fucked. I don't want to get too ambitious though this time. And now, guys, there is this website called StatCC, which I definitely recommend. This is not a sponsor, by the way. But it basically shows you like the, the average demand of things and average supply of things. And this is really helpful for trying to make credits. Stuff like this, just ignore it. Like uncommons and rares. Most of them are just uniforms that people are like giving, giving each other credits with. Yeah, this is genuinely a really good website if you want to uh, try and make some calculated guesses for uh, snipes and stuff like that oh shit crepsicular's gone down to 15k wow this shit used to be like 10k 200 to 10,000 credits and it just dropped to like wow that is really really bad but you can see like starting to go back up again so this might not even be the worst idea to get it now how much do i have 2.2k i can't afford it what's like the lowest it's been sold for yo i'm just gonna put 300 credits on this is it's kind of like a waste of time but it's probably it'll be worth it in the long run if it if a sniper okay so right now this is pretty low this might actually be a good one to buy this astralis 350 yeah this is a this is actually probably a really good buy right now um 350 i'm gonna see if i can get it for 352 i ain't gonna lie bro i might even just put 600 on this you know i'm gonna put 640 on it okay so i can only buy one more thing so i'm thinking like if i can i want to try save a little bit but even if i can't i should be sound worst case scenario i'm gonna go for pina colada i think 450 for this is a good price so i'm gonna place my order on that 450 sorry for this being a a bit of a shorter video because obviously you know i've had to switch accounts and there's nothing on it so i can't sell anything in this video but hopefully by the next video some of these items 
buy and if they don't then you know i'm go i guess i'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board man if you do want to win this account when i eventually get glacier on it make sure to go follow me over on twitter i will be announcing the winner over there i'll leave a link to my twitter in the description to make it easier for you but yeah man please subscribe if you haven't already i'm on the road to 1k leave a like if you did enjoy i appreciate you all for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace